let us see how commission is computed. If the rate of ordinary commission is 5% and that of Dell Credit commission is 3%, cash sales is 50,000 and credit sales is 1 lakh, calculate the amount of ordinary commission and Dell Credit commission. So what is the sales? Mind you, I repeat, if nothing is mentioned, both ordinary commission and Dell Credit commission is computed on total sales on total sales so what is the total sales cash sales is 50000 credit sales is 1 lakh so you have a total sale of 1 lakh 50000 so what is the ordinary commission ordinary commission is at the rate of 5% giving us 7500 del credit commission is at the rate of 3% of total sales that's 4500 total of 12000 is the total commission so though del credit commission is paid so that the risk of bad debt loss is avoided by the consigner. The consigner pays Dell Credit Commission to the consignee so that the consignee can effect credit sales, but the risk of bad debt losses will also be borne by the consignee. It is computed, Dell Credit Commission, but is computed on total sales and not on credit sales. Another commission problem. Consignee sold 80 cartons of goods costing 1000 each for rupees 1500 each. He is entitled to an ordinary commission of 5% and an overriding commission of 10%. Ordinary commission of 5% on total sales and an overriding commission is of 10% of the sales value that exceeds rupees 1500 per carton. What is the consignee's commission? So how do we compute this? Let us see. Ordinary commission is simple. Ordinary commission is 5% of sales value. Sold 80 cartons costing 1000 each for rupees 1500. So 5% of total sales. What is total sales? Total sales is 80 into 1500 each. So 5% of 120,000 giving us 6,000. This is ordinary cash. But what is the overriding commission is 10% of the sales value that exceeds 1400 per carton. The selling price has been 1500 exceeds rupees 1400. Therefore, we have an excess price of 100 rupees per carton. So, what would be the commission? An overriding commission is only 10% of the sales value that exceeds. So, shall we say it is 10% of the value that exceeds 1400. So, 1500 minus 1400. This is the excess price. 100 rupees per, per carton. How many cartons are we talking about? We are talking about 80 cartons. So, it should be 10% of 8000. Giving us 800. This is what? Overriding commission. So, total commission, ordinary commission of 6,000, overriding commission of 800, total commission of 6,800.
one more problem. Amit of Bangalore consigned goods costing 30,000 to his agent at Delhi. Freight and insurance which was paid by the consigner rupees 1,000. Consignee's expenses 2,000. Four-fifth of the goods were sold for 30,000. Commission is 2% on sales. Consignee wants to settle the balance with the help of bank draft. What is the amount of the draft? Consignee receives goods. Consignee incurs expenses. Consignee is entitled to a commission. Consignee effects sales. From the sale proceeds, the consignee will reduce the expenses, reduce the commission and the balance should be due to the consignor. So let us just see what should be the balance of the draft. Goods are sent costing 30,000. Freight and insurance is paid by the consignor. They are not consigned. What are the consignee's expenses? Consignee's expenses are consignee's expenses is 2,000. Four-fifth of the goods was sold for 30,000. Commission is 2% on sales. So the consignee has to get these expenses. He has to get commission. Commission is 2% on sales. 2% of 30,000. How much is 2% of 30,000? Would be 600. So totally 2,600 has to be given to the consignee and the consignee has sold goods for 30,000. So net 30,000 minus 2,600, we have 27,400 should be the balance due to consignor. The consignee has sold goods for the consignor worth rupees 30,000 but incurred expenses of 2000 has to be paid commission of 600 therefore he retains the 2000 retains 600 retains in total 2600 and therefore sends the balance of 27400 the amount of the draft should be 27400 correct answer would be d option d